two people agreeing on what they're doing and they're both saying it's okay, I will go along with this because I want to, not because I have to. I would think a business thing is basically... What am I saying? For the most part, it's really non work. There's a lot of non-verbal cues, and I guess there's going to be missions too, but that's really all we have. One of the biggest questions that, because I, I talk, obviously I talk about this a lot. Um, one of the biggest questions that I do actually get is, um, well, Lee, like you're turning everything into rape, um, which isn't really a question; it's more of a statement. But still, and it's not that's not my point, and that's not my goal is to make everything into you know a sexual insult, assault encounter. Um, it's more to my goal is to make sure that everyone understands what, first of all, what consent is. Um, and how to get it, and how to give it, and second, how to just how to respect women. And I think that a lot of the time now, like I said earlier, I mean, a lot of the time now, women are taught not to respect their bodies and not to respect their limits. They're, and it's, it's this double standard, it's the double-edged sword of, well, if you sleep with a lot of guys, you're a slut, but if you don't sleep with anyone, you're a prude. If you say yes too quickly, you're easy, but if you say no for too long, you're a tease, you know, and then you get tormented because you were flirting with him all night, but then you said no. You know, there's this huge thing of, there's this huge standard. Of one myth is that um, we think that it's someone hiding in the bushes and he's just yeah. like out to get anyone and he's just gonna jump out of the bushes and get you but really it, like you said it's planned and it's usually someone we know or like an acquaintance that we could potentially trust. With that our two highest age groups that we um, work with on a day-to-day -day basis are 18 to 24 and 25 to 29 so that's right in with the national um, age range. You know, if you hear the word no once within any interaction with a girl, then you not back the fuck up. <laughs> you know. The Department of Campus Safety is responsible for publishing the annual clearing report, also known as the annual fire safety and security report. These statistics encompass uh, many categories of crimes, including uh, dating violence, domestic violence, stalking, rape, fondling, statutory rape, and incest. For the year 2014, McDaniel College published uh, a number of uh, four rapes, one incident of fondling, zero for incest, and zero incidents of statutory rape. So, bloody bands are your sign uh, and a pledge to yourself that you have to be more than just a bystander, you have to pay attention more in your everyday life to your surroundings and not necessarily be a superhero for everyone, but definitely want to intervene. Uh, by signing a pledge to become a buddy and by wearing this band, you're letting others know that they, uh, they can come up to you, but also to make it known to yourself that you can go out and pay, definitely pay attention to like, your surroundings and just make the environment around a better place. Three out of every hundred rapists will ever spend a day in jail. The majority of rapes are not reported. And then of those that are reported, the majority of those are either not believed or not taken to court or denied by a judge because of lack of evidence, which is why you should always go to the hospital and get a rape kit. And then those that are actually taken to trial, 3% of the 100 actually win their case. Our society is living in rape culture. If you listen to any song, it's extremely, extremely negative towards women. Um, it doesn't teach women that they're beautiful. It doesn't teach women that they're strong, powerful, independent. Everyone knows someone that it's happened to. Whether you realize it or not, everyone knows someone. They're here, they work here, they live here, they're in our community. 
they're surviving, they're okay, but let's, let's give a little bit more help. Let's give a little bit more understanding. Let's try not to, you know, hurt each other anymore.